G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you all well. Today's video is a quick video on how to extract stills or frames uh, from your footage within Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a quick and easy process and something that can be really handy if you find that a still from your video footage may be useful for your content production for whatever uh, use you may find uh, it for. So if we have a look on our program monitor, you can see that I have a little uh, camera symbol and if we hover over that, you can see it says export frame. It also identifies that the shortcut is control shift E or Command Shift E for Mac users. I'm a big fan of shortcuts. They definitely help to uh, speed up my workflow and make things more efficient. So that's a good one to remember. Now, if you don't see that little uh, camera symbol there, if you just hit the plus sign, you can see that it gives you all the options of uh, tabs or buttons that you can have at the bottom of your program monitor. And all you need to do is click and drag it down onto uh, that uh, lower tab there and it will appear. So that's the best way to go. Just hit OK there. And you can see we've got three clips on our timeline at the moment, uh, one over the ocean and two over the desert in Western Queensland. So if we just navigate our play bar on our timeline to the section or the part of the timeline that we want to extract a frame, all we need to do is hit that little export frame button and it will give us an option of where we can save it and the format that we can save it in. Now this is one of the major advantages with Premiere Pro is you do have an option for uh, which format you would like to save the image. So we've got BMD, DPX, GIF or GIF or GIF I should say, JPEG, OpenEXR, PNG, Tugger and TIFF. Now the three most popular options that I generally use are JPEG, PNG and TIFF. Uh, because they're the, the three types of files that I generally use in my image editing or production workflow. So those would be the go-to ones that I would use first. Obviously, if you click Browse, you can then select where those images are going to be saved to. So you can see I've got a folder there that's set up called Frame Grabs, and that's the one that I generally use. Select that folder. You can see you can rename the file if you want to. And you've also got the option there to import into Project if you click that checkbox. Now I'm just going to hit OK and we're going to move along to our next clip. There we go. That looks pretty good right there. It's going to hit that uh, camera button again and hit OK and then come along and I'm going to select the frame that has that semi-trailer roughly in the center of the, uh, the frame there and hit OK. So if we go over to that folder where we had our frame grabs directed to, uh, you can see we've got still one, still two, and still three. Of course, you can then go ahead and rename those files through Adobe Bridge if you want to, or during your workflow within Adobe Lightroom. Nice and easy. And we have those three frames there. Now these were photographed, sorry, now these were filmed in 4K. So if we have a look at the details pane, you can see that it is indeed 3,840 pixels by 2160. So roughly equivalent to just over eight megapixel, which is a pretty reasonable resolution. Certainly one that I've been able to use for printing in the past and the images have looked great. So as you can see, it's super easy and quick to extract frames out of footage with Adobe Premiere Pro. Hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Of course, any questions are welcome in the comments below and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.